Hello everyone! Has it been a while since I've done a YouTube Made Me But I don't think it has. Maybe I'm just excited to actually test these out because I'm kind of like, oh, really? Today I have got boo -boo -boo -boo, the Longcomb Juicy Shakers. Now, if you don't watch like any of the popular YouTubers in the beauty community, I feel like it's in <laughs> They're getting angry. I'm not trying to throw shade, I promise. But like, Lancome recently sent a bunch of the bigger YouTubers in the beauty community to Paris, I think it was. And basically they went to a huge Lancome PR event and all of them, like, I don't know if it was in the contract or like what was going on, but every single one of them was like, oh my God, these juicy shakers, they're seriously the coolest and best thing ever. And then they got home and they did videos and they're like, oh my god, these are the coolest things ever. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. They might be great. Who knows? I mean, heck, I'm just happy these are not another matte liquid lipstick. One of these was actually sent to me by one of you, Carlin. Thank you so much for sending this my way. And then this one I actually bought myself before I had gotten this one. So good timing. Great minds think alike. I got mine during the cashback birthday thing on Ebates. Ulta was doing 15% cashback. <laughs> Yeah, I had to buy some things. Before we get into that, the packaging and everything, and I start smearing these on my lips, let's hop on over, I don't know, Longcomb's website maybe, and we can read about the product, see what they promise about these things, and how exactly I'm supposed to use them, because I'm pretty sure there's like a method to the madness. So, like I said, these are the new Longcomb Juicy Shakers. They're supposed to be pigment-infused, bi-phased lip oils. They have got 20 different colors here, and each one of the colors, I feel like the name is supposed to not only correlate with the color, but then also have something to do with the smell of it as well. So like the vanilla one should smell like vanilla, the caramel one should smell like caramel, lemon should smell like lemon, etc, etc. Now is that true? I don't know, but I feel like I have heard people saying that. And these will set you back $21. Shake it, twist it, love it. Colors that turn you on. Oh my god. A seriously addictive lip oil with a pillowy soft cushion applicator for a delicious shot of color. Say delicious shot. Try it. It's hard. For a delicious shot of color with a hint of shine. Shake it up with the latest innovation. Blah blah blah. Apparently this is the first pigmented lip oil with two distinct phases. The first phase being a transparent oil which is supposed to provide a comfortable non-sticky shine and then the second phase is the pigment, which gives a shot of color. So these are supposed to look like cocktail shakers, so you shake them up, you know, cutesy type thing, and then the cushion applicator enhances application by delivering the perfect shot of addictive, oh, I see what you did there with shot. Non-sticky shine and a sheer tint of color to the lips that is simply irresistible. It's got five different oils in it to keep your lips hydrated like a lip balm would. These are supposed to be very, very soft and comfortable and not oily and it's supposed to make your lips nice and delicious. How to use it, you're supposed to shake it up up to five times to mix the pigment and oil together, then tap the cushion applicator onto the lips for a tint of color with a sheer finish, but for a more pigmented look, you can build a base using lip liner or matte lipstick and then tap on the Juicy Shaker. I feel like a lot of the YouTubers that were at this Lancome event, like, were putting this on like a regular lipstick, which I mean, I don't blame them. I probably would have done the exact same thing. And then the Lancome representatives were like going up to them being like, no, no, let me show you how this is actually supposed to be used. So hopefully I can get this right, but either way, I'm going to be showing you at least both of these colors on my lips here and we will be putting it to the test as per usual for a whole day of wear. So I guess before I forget, let's go ahead and sing the song together and then we can get right into the review. So here we go. YouTube made me buy it and now I'm gonna try it. This is the one that I bought. This one is Mango's Wild and you can see they were trying to make it look like a cocktail shaker and then that there's like the oil and then the pigment. I feel like that's not really translating onto camera, like the color is too bright or something. Let's see how Barry and Love does on the camera. Ooh, such a pretty color. Yeah, so you can see much better with this one that it's got the tinted oil there and then it's also got the pigment. And I think these are supposed to kind of like mix and create a color. If not, it's gonna be more that color, I'm pretty sure. So they said shake up to five times. One, two, three, four, five. I feel like that did not mix it enough. I'm gonna mix more. 
It's got the little clicky metal balls at the bottom. And there we go. It is nice and shook up there. And then there, that is so weird. The product doesn't like come up into there. It's just all this squishy rubber thingy. Not rubber, why did I say that? This poofy thingy. I don't know what to call this applicator. And I think the shaking, like it absorbs the stuff or something. But there you go. There is Mango's Wild. They described this one as like a bright fuchsia or something. Zoom in here. I have nothing on my lips. Tap, 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 tap. Oh my god. It doesn't smell synthetic at all. And more than a mango, I would say this smells like an apricot, but like, or even a peach but like a real peach, like a peach skin. Oh, so good. I don't feel like the tapping is doing too much. Maybe it is. I'm just used to more pigmented stuff, I guess. Oh my gosh, you guys, that smell. So yeah, I mean, it really does. It looks like it just provided a very sheer wash of color. In the shaker, it looks like it's gonna be neon, but it's actually just a really pretty sheer wash of kind of a pinky, orangey coral type of a thing. And then we've got Berry in Love here. Let's try this. One, two, three, four, five. See, cause that's all that five does. I feel like I need to do it more than that, you know? So I'm going to. Excuse me while I break the rules here. Much better. It's a nice like purple color. You can definitely see like the separation even on the squishy tip here, like the oil at the bottom and then the pigment being that deeper purple. I really, really love this one, this Berry in Love. It provided more of a wash of color on my lips. I don't know, maybe it's just because of my natural lip pigment. It is just a sheer wash of like that berry purple. And I think the scent thing is true because this one smells like a berry snow cone. Like that artificial blue raspberry kind of a smell, but not artificial in a bad way. Mm. It is pretty surprising. I mean, these look so different in the bottle, but I feel like on my lips, they looked very, very similar. Like I feel like these aren't the kind of product where you are gonna get a huge difference on your lips. I could be wrong, but I would say definitely go with whatever smell you're thinking about because oh, these smell really good. And I do think that it's really cool that they do smell like their name and that they all have different smells. I think that's a pretty neat idea. So far they feel very thin, very lightweight. They remind me a lot of the Hurrah lip balm texture in that it's like an oilier lip balm, which makes sense because these are an oil. I mean, they feel good. My lips feel moisturized. They've got a nice tint of color on them. I'm excited to see if these like stain or just kind of how long they keep my lips moisturized. And as always, I'm excited to take you guys along with me to see how that does. It is just about three o'clock in the afternoon. I think that's about it for now. I will just check in with you all whenever I feel like I need to check in with you next. It will probably be before and after dinner. So I will see you then. Bye. <music>
good evening. It is not quite the end of the night, but I can already tell you my final thoughts on these. It is currently just a little bit after 9.30 in the evening. As you can see, I just ate. I had that tofu spring roll thing or whatever that I picked up at Trader Joe's, and nothing. There's no stain that gets left behind. My lips are really smooth, but like... <laughs> And voila, there, we have some color again. This time I did the mango. But yeah, honestly, I mean, I like these. Don't get me wrong, but they're not anything special. Like, if you've tried a tinted lip oil before, there you have it, <laughs> you know? I mean, they feel really good. They're super lightweight. They're not super hydrating, but like, they're hydrating. They definitely are. It just feels like you've got a very light lip oil on. They do have that strong fragrance though, and they do taste like they smell. So if you're not into lip products that taste like anything, you're not gonna like these. But I mean, they're easy enough to reapply. They're great for now that it's like summertime feeling, I guess. Can you tell with my hair? <laughs> Oh good lord. But these kind of lightweight, sheer washes of things, I mean, they're popular in the summer for a reason. It's nice to not have a bunch of heavy makeup on. I think, you know, the color and everything lasts for maybe like two to three hours, and then you're gonna want to reapply. Once it does wear off, your lips don't feel dry when it's not there anymore. They still feel pretty hydrated, but like, I am addicted to lip balm, <laughs> so like the minute that it wears off, I'm like, I need something, you know? But that's that's just the addict in me. I'm sure most of you would be fine. <laughs> They're cute. They're really cute, but like, do I think you need to go out and buy them? No. And are they innovative? No. Tinted lip oils have existed for a very long time. I also feel like, you know, the color differences... I mean, there's definitely a difference. Like, this is more of a warm orangey tint on my lips, and then the berry one is more of, like, a cooler berry tone, but, like, I don't think you need to have more than one of these, really. But that being said, I mean, if you want to buy all of them, like, hey, go nuts, you know? You do you. I mean, I'm definitely gonna get use out of these. Like, they're not crappy enough where I'm like, return them. I'm happy to have them. I do like the smell of them. And like I said, I think these are nice to have for the summertime, and I mean, even the wintertime, too. Just whenever you want, like, a fuss-free, no-mess type of a lip product. I think that is going to do it for me. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful, you know? Do you need to go out and buy these Lancome Juicy Shakers? I don't know. It's up to you. If it was helpful and or enjoyable, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I really would appreciate it. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye! Can you like see all of the cat hair everywhere? I'm petting my cat simultaneously while I film. It is so kitty. Just the happiest now. sick kitty. They have no baggy pants and no sneakers. That was wild. I didn't know what to think about that. Didn't know what to think about that. Can I boop you? Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. <laughs> Thank you.